Hey there everyone, Paris Christou here from ToonBoxStudio.com and thank you for tuning in to this week's video on how to draw the good dinosaur Arlo and spot the little cave boy. Now what I'm doing is uh, I'm just going to quickly block out Arlo's basic head shape and uh, just quickly blocking out a nice little silhouette. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scale this silhouette so it will take up most of the page, like so. Whoops, hold on, there we go. There we go, okay. And now on a new layer, all I'm going to do now is start sketching out the form of the character. Now have in mind that Arlo is a 3D or CG character, shall I say, and I'm trying to draw him in a 2D form in my own style. So let's see how we do this. So he's got a nice big snout. He's got his massive smile like this, all the way down to here. Okay. And Arlo also has these huge oval-shaped eyes like this, really, really big. And an iris there, here we go, another eyelash here, another iris right there, okay, cool. Now that we've done that, I'm just going to add some wrinkle marks there on underneath his eye, add some texture there, okay. Now, Arlo also has little eyebrows that flop over his eyes, and they change shape depending on his expression. And there we go, roll into the back of his neck, a little wrinkle mark on the one cheek, I'm going to add another cheek on the other side here. Okay, Arla also has these two little circular nostrils on the front of his snout, like that. And uh, I might even add a tooth here, maybe two or three. He's got his little round, blunt, you know, uh, stumpy little teeth. They're really, really cute and nice. Nice design, I really like the design. And maybe the back of his head should roll into the eyebrows more like this. There we go. Okay, cool. I might end up changing those eyebrows, which I'll see. And the back of his neck here. And there we go, we've got Arlo. Now I'm referencing from an original sketch that was created from one of the designers on the movie, from the movie, one of the guys from the from Pixar and Disney. And um, basically the sketch that I'm referencing from is just Arlo and Spot lying down on a surface where the, I'm assuming it's a night scene or something and they're just about to fall asleep. So, now that I've done Arlo, I'm going to drop down the opacity and make a new layer as I'm going to start sketching out Spot. So, a nice big circle for his head. And he's got a little body. I'm going to have it hunched around into a C curve. I'll we'll draw his arm underneath his head like that as his head is pressing down against his arm. Have his little hand fingers poking out like that. Now, like I said, a C curve on the back of the body here in, as he's hunching into like a, like a something like a ball. A ball shape and uh, add a foot there let's draw the other leg poking out here somewhere roughly around there nice and loose nice and rough and he also has like this little outfit kind of like a Tarzan outfit but made out of like leaves and twigs and stuff and yeah all right now we've done that let's add a little a big ear around here and a cheek that pokes out here the other cheek will be more squashed since he's pressing down there we go and then big messy hairdo like so because Spot likes to use conditioner. <laughs> Bad joke, I know. Right, let me just position Spot into place. And now, bring out the opacity so I can see everything in one. Okay, looks okay, looks cool. Not bad for rough sketch. I'm gonna quickly add a little, uh, little bit of tone on Spot here and flatten the two. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lasso tool because I've noticed that the body is slightly a bit too big and it's actually smaller than in proportion to his head so I'm gonna shrink it a little bit put it back to place and there we go okay now I'm gonna take my soft eraser and I'm gonna soften everything out since I have my blueprints and dive in to add the little details so I'm gonna start by rolling the forehead running out the cheek and the eyelashes a little nose area another eyelash and let's do the eyelids now one here and one there there we go Reverse curves for the eyebrows, like so. Yeah, cool. Now he has a little button nose <laughs> with these little nostrils that poke out like this. There we go. It's really, really cool. And I'm gonna give him a nice little sleepy, droopy type mouth here, a little bottom lip flopping out. Yeah, he's a cool little character. He growls, he, he barks, <laughs> he acts like a little puppy. Really cool. Let's draw his little fingers. There we go. 
and the arm the other fingers right there okay let's curve around the back of his the arc on the back add a little ear all right let me finish off the rest of the body now let's roll in the legs and have it flat here since I've got so many curves on the other side got this little foot let's give him a few toes there we go and the other foot now all right spot is coming together like I said I'm keeping it to more to my own style staying true to the design but keeping it towards my own style of way of drawing so I hope you guys like it a little messy little uh, outfit there made out of twigs and leaves and now he has this huge ball of messy hair flopping everywhere there we go okay we're done there we go there's little spot all right cool now that I've done that, maybe I can tweak a couple of things on Arlo that I didn't like. For example, his, the back of his neck, I want it to go more down and then rolling back up in towards his head. To make his head look more bigger than normal. Alright, let me just quickly soften it out so you can see this a bit more clearer. Now like I said, this is a rough sketch guys, I'm keeping everything nice and loose. I'm not going to be foot, I'm not going to be rendering this picture off, but if you guys like this image and you want me to come back with another video on rendering this image, just let me know in the description below of this video and uh, I'll get stuck in and do it for you guys. But um, yeah. Alright, so we're coming up to the end of the video now guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys go to your local theatres to see the Good Dinosaur by Disney and Pixar. This is my favorite scene from the whole show that I've seen so far. Check this out. <laughs> That's the funniest scene I've seen so far on the trailers. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I had a lot of fun with you guys. And if you guys enjoyed this video, let's give this video a nice thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. If you're new, subscribe and enjoy the videos each week. And uh, don't forget, let me know in the, in the comment section if you want to see me render this piece off and uh, I'll get stuck in straight away. So I'm Paris Christou from ToonboxStudio.com and I'll see you on another video. Bye bye for now.